Hi again, Greg Hughes here. Welcome to video number 21 in the 90 second website builder quick start video series. In the last video, I showed you how to use a tool called the layer tool to make a footer, uh, which is pretty simple to do. And that's probably one of the more basic uses of the layer tool. Some people also would use it to make a header or any um, time you want to group a bunch of objects together in, in one container, that's literally what the layer tool is. It's a container. And so there's a lot of uses for it that are obvious. But then there's a few gems inside the layer tool that are not so obvious unless you look around and play with them a little bit. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the layer tool to do some really fancy stuff. Uh, this is really kind of fun. And so I look forward to showing you how to do this. So we're going to go back to the... Uh, advanced tools over here and grab a layer tool like this and we're just going to draw a layer out here. I'm just going to draw it out on top of everything here for now and um, we'll move it around uh, for this demonstration here in a second but I'm just going to leave it out here in the middle of the screen so we can talk about this a little bit. First of all I'm going to double click on the layer to bring up the layer properties and show you one particular feature in the layer that we'll discuss in this video that's really fun and it's called docking the layer or a dockable layer. Now what does that mean? Well, I'm going to have to show you easier than I can tell you, but docking the layer basically means uh, creating a, an area of your website that stays put, that stays sort of stuck to one edge of the website to create a special effect. And I'll show you what I mean. So let's, let's use a simple example. Let's say we want to dock our layer to the left edge. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm at, by the way, I'm going to align everything inside the layer center and let's click OK. Now, right now the layer is out here, but what I'm asking the software to do is I'm asking it to dock it or sort of snap it against the left edge. It doesn't matter where I put it out here because when you see when we preview, it's actually going to automatically snap it to the left edge. So I might as well put it there now. I'm also going to make it a little bit narrower here like this. And for now, I'm going to store it up in the corner, but in a minute, you'll see it won't matter where I store it. So let me just demonstrate and then we'll get going. So all I've done is make a blank layer. I've told it to dock left and I've stored it up in the corner. Watch what happens. Now you'll see that I actually have this. This is actually the layer right here and it scrolls down infinitely like this. So you can see on the side of my website, I have this docked layer and it's as wide as I drew it but it's as deep as the web page is it goes on for the height and depth of the web page that's what docking does it's it's a form of a repeating object so what can we do with that well there's a couple of things and by the way it didn't matter where I put it only thing that matters is how wide I made it even if I had to put this over here and I click F5 it still responds by putting the layer in the right spot because I told it to be a docking layer and I told it to dock to the left edge. So I'm just going to store it actually over here out of my way. Let me move the camera so you see what I'm doing here. Or actually I'll scroll up here. All I've done is I've just put it over here to the edge where it's not bothering me because it doesn't matter where I put it. It's still going to show up where you just saw it. But what would we do with that? Well, one of the things we could do is we could put some navigation in here. So let me just as a quick demonstration, grab the nav bar since it's right there. Let's put some navigation here. Now, watch what happens. I put an object in the layer. Again, this is a docked layer, so it's unique. I'm going to click F5. Watch what happens. Okay, so what I've done is I've just basically made, you might call this a sidebar. And I can put objects in the sidebar, as many as I want. I happen to just put navigation there. See, what happens is, as I scroll my website, aha, now you see the power of a docked layer. It stays put. So I can actually have information over here such as navigation or any anything, even a video or other buttons or links or text or whatever and my website is scrollable but this layer is stays put, stays fixed. Okay, so hopefully now you're starting to see where we're going with this. Now that's if I were to dock this layer to the left. And again I could make it as wide as I want Hit F5, and it does respond to that width, see? But let's take this a step further. Instead of using a layer 
um, on the side and let me get rid of that navigation what if we wanted something to be stuck so to speak to the bottom of our website okay I'm gonna leave the layer right here because where it appears is determined by these settings so I'm gonna use my docking layer and I'm gonna say dock bottom alright so let's see what that looks like hit F5 and now you'll see well if I move the camera down because we're down at the bottom here move my camera so you can see that better as we scroll the website there's my docked layer that big white spot down there right well you may have seen that in some websites where they might want to put their buy button or something like that let's try that I'm gonna close the preview and let's make a let's make kind of a cool effect here let's say our layer is going to contain an image let me go grab an image from the image tools right here and we'll put an image in here let's get a buy button I think I got one called order now there it is click OK and this order button is pretty big so let me make my layer a little bit bigger again it doesn't matter that it's on top of something here it's not going to appear there okay in fact I could store it way down at the bottom out of the way if I wanted to but just for the sake of argument let's keep it right there and by the way let me double click on that layer again make sure yeah I want to make sure it's centered and click OK and watch I go F5 and now you'll see I've got this order button down here right so no matter where my visitors go that order button always stays in front of them so you might you know you could put a an opt-in form here or something that you want to keep static something that you want to keep in front of your visitors all the time no matter where they scroll that would still be in the in focus so that's just really a cool trick and of course it doesn't have to be that tall I just made that one tall because that button was so it could be um, it could be smaller so in fact let me let me do that let's just let's shrink this down I know it's not gonna look pretty but let's shrink this down let's say we wanted to do this and probably get a better looking image to do that with but you'll see what I mean so now we've got this sort of bottom banner if you will that could stay stay put and it, and remember I have it centered so that's why it does what it does okay so that's pretty cool but let me show you one other thing and this is where it gets really kind of fancy now I'm gonna move the camera up to the top of the screen here and let me bring the layer up here now I'm gonna do something really unusual I think you're gonna like it we're gonna use the layer tool here up here in my in my header area so I've got this background which I like but just gonna do something cool and unusual and let's see we're gonna take this text and let's put this inside our layer and I'm going to change the background of this layer let's go to the style by the way I just double click to open the layer properties uh, go to the style I'm gonna pick an image and I'm gonna get that same image that I had up here I happen to have an image called back there it is and I click open now I've applied this image to my layer and I'm gonna say Oh, I gotta go over here and go we're gonna dock this one instead of on the bottom we're gonna dock this on the top now this will be very interesting click OK now what I basically have here as you can see is a layer that has the same background let's move it all the way over here and what's gonna happen in fact I'm gonna stretch it like this although I don't really need to it's just it's gonna go all the way across automatically so in fact I won't stretch it so you can see I'm gonna leave that like that now watch what happens when I hit F5 watch what happens when I scroll down aha uh -huh. now I have this fixed layer on top you can imagine the possibilities of having a fixed layer on the top so for example I could keep my uh, let's, let's, let's grow this a little bit bigger here this layer select it grow it a little bit bigger like this so that we can put some other things in it like for example what if I put my navigation in here right instead of down here I'm gonna click F5 and now as I scroll down see my navigation stays put or anything that I want in that layer would stay put so hopefully this just whets your appetite on playing with the docking tool uh, or the docking feature the docking setting that's inside the layer tool because the layer tool itself just has a lot of 
possibilities. And we just talked about one aspect of it. We're working with the docking layer. I haven't even talked to you about the sticky layer. Save that for another video. And some of the other things that you can do. Because remember, you can style this layer with images, gradients, patterns, textures, or solid color. You can make it transparent. In fact, you can uh, make shadows and trigger layers with events. You can make borders if you want. I didn't even go into any of that. You can even make your layer uh, transparent or opaque according to this percentage here. So that gives you just enough maybe to play with to uh, create some special effects. So if you want to dock an area uh, for content, and again, anything can be in a layer. It could be a form, it could be like an opt-in form, your, your autoresponder form. It could be um, a video that you want to keep in front of people. Uh, just play with that and see what that does and you'll find that it's a very, very, pow a very, very powerful tool to use to uh, take your website up a couple notches in 90 Second Website Builder. I hope you enjoy using that.